In this video, we're going to learn how to search for classes using the course schedule. To access the course schedule, you need to be on your My VVC dashboard. To access your dashboard, go to the vvc.edu homepage, and up at the upper right-hand side of the screen, click on the My VVC link. You'll be asked to enter in your username and password, and once you do, you'll be redirected to the dashboard itself. From the dashboard, you'll see a list of icons and you want to click on the icon for WebAdvisor, which is indicated here by the purple and white icon. When you click on that, you'll be directed to the main menu. If your main menu does not already default to the student menu, go up here to the top of the screen where it says login, click on that, and then click on student. To access the course schedule, you need to go to the registration column here on the right hand side of the screen and click on the course listing, which is the first, icon, or first link here. When you do this, you'll be redirected to our course catalog or course schedule. Now here you have the option of searching in two ways, either by subject or you can complete a advanced search. For the subject search, you can click on the discipline of the type of course that you want to take. For example, biology, and you'll see a list of biology courses that are offered, but not for a particular term. If you want to look for a particular term, you'll go over here to the left hand side of the screen, scroll down to where it says terms and select the term that you want. Summer or fall is the open registration period right now. So you would select one or both of those, uh, one of those I should say. And if you have a preference on the modality of the class and how it's offered, you can select that here under locations. You can also identify your preference for day of the week, times, and instructors. The other way to search the course catalog is by the advanced search. I'm gonna click here on the advanced search tab and I will see a set of filters that I can use to refine my search. Here for term, I'm going to select the term that I want to find a class for, in this case fall, and I can choose the courses and the sections that I'm interested in taking. For example, if your educational plan says that you need to take a communications course, I'm going to click on the open field here to access the drop down menu, and I'm going to scroll down to where it says communication studies. If your ed plan gives you a very specific course to take, then you're going to type that course number in here. Next, if I wanted to also look for other courses in another subject, such as chemistry and perhaps even math, I can click again on those drop down menus and use the search or scroll down to the particular discipline that I'm interested in. If I don't have a specific course, a number that I need to look for, I can leave these two, these two fields blank. If I have a preference in the day of week, the location or time of day, I can enter that here. Please note that adding additional filters may limit the choices that you're able to see. To maximize the options, you may want to consider leaving these options blank. However, if you are preferring an online course, for example, under location, you can click on that drop down menu and scroll up to the appropriate type of modality, in this case, online. And then I'm going to hit search so that I can see what courses I have available to me. Now here I can see the Communications 106 is my first choice. I'm going to click on this option here that says view available sections. And then I can scroll down and see all of the available sections that are open for the fall term. When I'm looking at this, I can see how many class seats are still available, what the maximum was, and if there's a wait list. Here, I can see that there's 26 seats available out of 30, and there's no current wait list. This class says TBD, which means to be determined, and it's an online course that I can see here, and I can see who my instructor is. If I'm interested in this course, I want to click here on the course name and section number for more information. I can see here if there's any special details that I need to be aware of, but if this is a class that I want to take, then what I'm going to do is use this five digit section number and write it down so that I can use that when I register and navigate. 
and you'll do the same thing for any other class that you want, for example, chemistry or if you're choosing a math course. Now, if you scroll up and go back here to the course catalog, the other way that you can search for a course, for example, is if I click on the advanced search option, I can put in a meeting date and meeting start date and end date. If I need to take an eight week class, then I can enter in a very specific time frame to find out which classes are available in that type of format. For example, if I want a second eight week term in fall, I'm going to put in, click in the drop or in the empty box here, type in the date. And the end of the term is going to be the 17th of December. I'm going to scroll down and click search. And now I can see a complete listing of courses that are available during this specific time frame. And I'll see that there's a long list. And if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, I can see there's a total of four pages that I can use these navigation icons to filter through. If I know that I want it in a particular subject or modality, again, I can use the menu here on the left-hand side of the screen to filter my results even further. And this is how you would use our course catalog to look for courses for registration.